Stephen Denning, The Secret Language of Leadership, How Leaders Inspire Action Through Narrative, Jossie Base Leadership Series Book 270. Get ready to dive into the world of nonverbal communication with insights from The Secret Language of Leadership by Stephen Denning. This book summary aims to demystify the complex art of conveying messages without the use of words, helping you become an effective communicator. You will explore the various types of body language, differences in gender and culture-related communication, and the impact of an environment on how messages are perceived. By understanding and applying these powerful concepts, you can better connect with others, create lasting impressions, and inspire action. The Power of Nonverbal Communication Effective communication involves understanding the messages conveyed without using words. Mark Knapp's nonverbal communication in human interaction identifies six types of nonverbal behavior, including repeating, conflicting, complementing, substituting, accenting slash moderating, and regulating. These behaviors encompass gestures, body language, dress, and tone of voice and account for the majority of effective communication. To become a skilled communicator, it is essential to study nonverbal communication and understand the messages conveyed beyond spoken words. The Power of Nonverbal Language Skilled communicators understand the significance of nonverbal language when communicating. Communication involves three parties the sender, the receiver, and the observer. Receivers receive a lot of information unconsciously to form opinions of the sender's message. Senders can use both deliberate and spontaneous body language to communicate their message. Deliberate body language is intentional, such as maintaining eye contact when meeting someone you want to impress, while spontaneous body language is impulsive, such as a child's natural gestures. As people grow older, they gain more control over their spontaneous reactions and tend to show less of what they're feeling. Observers watch and interpret nonverbal interactions based on their perception of the world. Body language is crucial for effective communication, and individuals can choose how they use it. Skilled communicators learn to read and use nonverbal behaviors proactively to enhance their communication skills. Decoding body language Body language is a crucial aspect of human communication. It constitutes various elements such as eyes, facial expressions, gestures, touch, posture, movement, appearance, and voice. The eyes are the first to connect and convey a range of messages through conscious and unconscious eye movements. Facial expressions reveal emotions ranging from happiness to sadness, anxiety, and fear. Gestures either reinforce or complement what one says. Touch can be professional, social, friendly, or intimate. Posture affects the message one communicates, and movement can express intimacy, subservience, authority, or power. Finally, appearance can also influence how others view us and attribute meaning to every feature. Even vocal characteristics such as tone, pitch, and tempo contribute to nonverbal communication. In conclusion, mastering body language helps decode messages beyond words and improve one's communication skills. The Power of Nonverbal Communication Nonverbal communication is not just about body language, but also context, environment, culture, and personal experiences. People perceive and understand nonverbal cues differently, depending on the situation's formality, privacy, familiarity, warmth, distance, constraint, and time. Women are generally better at sending and interpreting nonverbal messages, but gender norms also affect how nonverbal behavior is perceived. Cultural norms define acceptable behavior, and nonverbal messages vary in the arenas of eye contact, gestures, and territorial space. Personal space also differs depending on culture, nationality, or environment. Understanding nonverbal communication is crucial as it influences the non-conscious mind more than verbal communication. The Six Messages of Body Language Body language can convey one of six messages, status, dominance, submission, uncertainty, confidence, or personal identity. In terms of status, posture and touch are crucial, 
standing tall and initiating physical contact can increase your perceived power. Dominance is expressed through elevated positions, specific hand positions, and body language maneuvers. Conversely, submission is shown through avoidance tactics like looking away or taking a lower position. Uncertainty is displayed through hesitant movements and flitting eye contact, whereas confidence is expressed through steady, upright movements. Lastly, personal identity is reflected in body language, an athlete moves with strength and grace. Understanding these six messages can help you better communicate and interpret nonverbal cues in your daily interactions. Remember, your body language speaks louder than your words. Making a lasting impression. Before uttering a word, people form snap judgments about you based on your appearance and body language. To make a positive impact, it's essential to wear tidy and clean clothing that suits you, walk confidently, make eye contact, smile, and reach out to shake hands. Building rapport is like a dance, starting with shared interests and ideas. Trust comes naturally with rapport, and it increases over time. Deliberately project positive messages by being conscious of your body language. It's crucial to learn to read cues accurately to discern the content behind someone's words. Mirroring, listening, and reciprocating are the three essential steps to building a warm rapport. Mirroring involves reflecting the other person's body language, movements, posture, tone of voice, style of dress, and other signals. Listening requires asking open-ended questions and listening for key wants and needs. Reciprocating means treating other people exactly as they treat you, such as giving a firm or soft handshake, depending on theirs, or swapping business cards. Mastering body language for business success. Understanding the role of context in nonverbal cues is essential for effective communication. Aligning your body language with the workplace environment is crucial. The four most common environments are conservative, casual, industrial, and academic. To succeed in business meetings, follow established rules and keep the space around you uncluttered. Consciously observe the interactions of others to improve your body language and nonverbal behavior. Establish rapport with potential clients by showing sincere interest and keeping your gestures refined and non confrontational. Lastly, Increase your chances of sales success by sitting to the right of right-handed prospects. Influence with body language. Learning to identify and utilize nonverbal communication can improve your relationships and conversations. Neurolinguistic programming involves using self-talk and body language to influence emotions. Reading body language is not good or bad, simply interpretation. Every interaction involves a like-slash-dislike or truth-slash-deception balance. Utilize nonverbal behavior to react accurately and honestly in interactions. To communicate like, make eye contact, smile warmly, nod your head, assume a relaxed posture, and mirror movements. To communicate dislike, stand turned away, smile infrequently, avoid eye contact, and assume a protective stance. As we reach the end of this enlightening exploration in nonverbal communication, it becomes clear that the messages we convey without words hold immense power. By understanding the different types of body language, being aware of how culture and gender influence communication, and adapting to different contexts and environments, you can harness the true potential of nonverbal communication as a leader. In an increasingly diverse and interconnected world, mastering this secret language can significantly improve relationships conversations, and the way you engage others. So go forth and use these insights to inspire action, build rapport, and lead with confidence.